What is up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to build a rocket launcher. It shoots pretty much any kind of bottle you can get and the total build cost is going to be about three dollars. First you're going to need a number three rubber stopper which you can get about 75 cents at true value or somewhere like that. A Schrader valve that you can get out of any tire on the planet. I got mine out of an old bicycle tube. You're going to need a strong retention spring and you're going to need some metal scraps. Start by drilling a hole smaller than the Schrader valve into the rubber stopper. The hole needs to be smaller so that the valve will fit extremely tightly into the stopper. A quick practical test with an air compressor proves the fit of the stopper and the concept of the build. For the locking mechanism, you will need to take two small pieces of angle metal and carve a radius into it so that the bottle will fit. I use my death wheel to remove the material, but you could use a Dremel or a belt sander, whatever you have. Next take two longer pieces of angle metal and attach them to the radius pieces so they grip the bottle around the neck. I use rivets to attach these pieces, but you can use whatever you have. I decided to mount the release arms to a stronger piece of metal to ensure the fixture would hold up to the pressures that I would apply, and I attached the arms with quarter inch bolts. When position was final, I riveted the spring to the back of the arms to lock the bottle in place. Finally, I found a piece of steel to hold the stopper in the bottle and drilled a hole in the steel so the Schrader valve can fit through. Once the last piece was located where I wanted it, I could weld up the fixture and everything would be ready to go. Obviously, you can just attach this piece with screws, but if you got a welder, why not use it right? The awesome thing about this setup is any tire pump will work for charging the bottles. I use an air compressor here, but I've also used a hand pump and a portable 12 volt tire pump. They all work great. And the Schrader valve will hold the air pressure even after the pump has been disconnected. Depending on the pressure that you're using and the design of the rocket, these have the potential to really get some distance. So make sure you have adequate room for this experiment and don't point the rocket at anyone or anything you care about. This has been a fun and most importantly cheap project. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you have the time, comment and tell me what type of project you'd like to see me do next time and maybe I'll see about getting that done for you. Thanks for watching guys.